what we're going to do next is we're going to change the post set. Now the post set is this top piece and the bottom piece. They have posts sticking up and down. They come as a, as a, as a set, two pieces, and this is probably the most, uh, involves the most work. Uh, you have to be thinking about it because they, they're not the easiest things to get out. But what we'll do is we'll start, again, what we, we're going to find the leg that has the shortest slits, and that's this one. But be careful because one, the other leg, this copper one here with the copper strip, also has short slits. Do not touch the, the, uh, uh, the leg with the copper strip if at all possible. All right, so let's go. Uh, we're gonna also not going to take out the one with the longer slits, but we're going to concentrate on the one with the shorter slits. Okay, let's take that out first. And again, uh, make sure you soak your module for 10 minutes in hot water, so that uh, the plastic, the white plastic, is more pliable. Okay, and we're going to flip this over. And again, I'm I'm wedging this. Uh, I'm wedging this flathead screwdriver in and just giving a slight turn, pushing a little bit till it comes over the lip of the hole in that colored plastic. Once you've got it uh, both sides above the lip, then you can pull out and that leg comes off. So now in order to get at the posts, we do need to remove the center rings. So take out your copper ring and the large uh, silver rings on either side of the copper ring. And now you have uh, the module with just the post set. Now what's good about this setup is that you still have two legs holding the, uh, the module together. It can be a real puzzle piece if you take the entire thing apart. It's not that you can't put it back together again, but this is going to be easier if we try to keep a couple of legs in the module while we're doing this procedure. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do when I'm removing a post set is I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the top part of these white legs and just get them over the lip so I can get at that post a little easier. So again, I'm just lifting this white plastic over the lip and that gives me access now to easily remove this post. Get at that. There it comes. Okay, It comes out of, out of the little slits holding them in. You can take it out and there it is. Okay. Now, while it's in this position, that's where you're going to put the new post back in because you've got it the way you want it. So let's do that. Put the new post in and line it up with the little uh, s slots on either side in the legs. And once you've got them lined up, you can push in the white leg. And the same thing for this. Use the heel of your, your hand and push while holding the other side of the module. And you'll, you'll hear it click in. Okay, and you can see here it's actually contacting this copper strip in the leg very nicely uh, when you push it back in. But I do I do one one extra thing. I give it a little tap, put to get that back in to make sure that it's well seated in this area. So now we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Now, if you if you want to re replace this, it doesn't always need to be replaced. But if you got it, if you got the module uh, open already, then maybe. It's a good idea to try that. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to lift up and lift up on the other other leg as well using that screwdriver. And I just and my bottom one just fell out. One moment. All right. So I have the the bottom piece out. Where's my focus? There we go. All right. Here's the uh, here's the bottom piece. Uh, Let's assume that we've taken the old one out. We're going to put the new one in, slide that into the slot, and you've got to kind of hold it up a little bit, and then do the same thing. Squeeze across the module with your heel of your thumb. We already have one in, and now we're going to do the other. You just kind of line it up with the uh, slot. I'm going to push with one hand. Okay. Okay, I clicked it in. All right, now we've got it well seated, both of them. I am going to give that a tap. Use a screwdriver. And so I'm going to just double check it. You can see now that the uh, top and bottom 
are seated in this uh, white leg with the copper strip. This is important because this is what carries the connection through the module. Okay, so we'll go ahead and I'm going to tap it. And that's just tapping that uh, silver disc against the white leg so it's sitting nicely. Uh, now putting the module back together is nice and easy. So we, we've done two things by doing it this way. Is one, there's no confusion about which leg goes back where because you only have taken one out entirely. To put it back together, you're going to put the large silver rings in first, one on either side of that center copper ring. Okay, the copper ring is going to go in between these two. Put that back. And um, at this point, you've got all the rings but your regular ring set in there, so we can put our leg back on now. Line up the, uh, the slot, the copper ring first. Make sure you've got nothing that's sticking. Oh, that was a good one. I pushed it in, and both sides went in simultaneously. But uh, if you need to, you can do top and bottom squeezing and top and bottom squeezing that way. Okay. Once you've got it back in, uh, what I like to do is just check, uh, go back to this, and make sure that um, this silver ring on either side of the copper ring is fully seated in, up against this copper strip here in the leg. The easiest way to do that is to place, if you see that it's not fully seated, put this part of the module on a table, okay, and then take a flathead screwdriver and come in pushing down, I don't know if you can see that well, yeah, pushing down on the silver ring. It's going to take some pressure, pushing down to make sure that it's fully into the leg there. Same thing on this side, okay. You do both of those and then you're good to go. Uh, I make one more check, again, this is the, the key, making sure that all the rings are are touching on that white leg with the copper strip and if it needs another tap here or there to make sure they're in do that uh, otherwise you you're ready to put your ring set back in and go ahead and do that top ring slide it in bottom ring slide it in okay so we now just put our clip back in place and everything is back as it should be.